Hi everyone, the purpose of our program today is to create a game in which the user can search for treasure hidden in the sand. Alonzo here is our guide, and let's just see what happens when we run the program. So first he's going to say help me find the buried treasure, and then click and drag your mouse in the sand. Uh, you're close if you hear a sound. So let's see what happens when we click and drag our mouse around. So it seems like he's saying nothing, so we're not close. Oh. We started hearing a sound, so that must mean that we're close. And then he says found it. It's at uh, coordinates negative 84, negative 88. Okay, so let's see what let's uh, dive into the code here and see what's going around. Um, as you can see, the um, setup is when the green flag is clicked, Alonzo will say, "Help me find the buried treasure for two seconds," and then click and drag your mouse in the sand and you're close if you hear a sound. These are mainly just for instructions to the user. And then we are setting the treasure X and Y coordinates um, to some random number. See, as, as you can see, the X coordinates is some random number between 180, uh, negative 180 and 180 to span the whole screen. And then the Y coordinates can span from negative 100 to zero as, because the sand only covers uh, the bottom half of the screen. <laughs> and then we have some control uh, some control blocks for when the mouse is down. So basically when you click your mouse down, we're going to enter that and then it's going into an if else block with some really complicated conditionals here. So um, bear with me, let's break it down. Uh, in the first if conditional, it's uh, the outermost condition is an and. So that means that these two, that this um, and and this and need to be true for this whole thing to equate to true. And then let's go into the first and. So it's saying that treasure x minus 60 um, is less than mouse x, and mouse x minus, uh, is less than treasure x plus 60. Um, this basically means that uh, if your mouse is somewhere within um, minus or plus 60 of the treasure's x coordinate, then this uh, condition will hold true. And then the second condition is the same thing, but for the y coordinate. So um, if your mouse is anywhere between negative or plus 60 of the treasure y coordinate, then this will also be true. And then both of these conditions need to be true to essentially um, create a sort of radius around the treasure to uh, detect your mouse for when it is um, within 60 uh, units of the treasure. And then if that whole thing is true, then we're going to play the note and that is going to let the user know that they are close to the treasure. And then we basically do the same exact um, condition except we're checking if your mouse is within 20 uh, units of the treasure. This means that the user has gotten close enough and Alonzo will say found it, it is in um, you know these coordinates that we picked randomly up here. And then if neither of these conditions are true, obviously he will just think nothing because you're not close. Um, this game is uh, pretty great at demonstrating uh, complex nested conditionals because it you know, has uh, several nested and, um, and blocks. And let's see what happens if we uh, change the nested if block from minus 20 to minus um, five. As you can guess, the game will suddenly become a lot harder to find the treasure. So as you can see, we're close. Let's see if we can find it. So yeah, as you can see, it's proving pretty difficult, and we found it. It's at negative 113, negative 86. Okay, that's pretty much it for um, the program I had for you guys today. Thank you so much.